To make the perfect vault, you must choose your pole carefully and take into account buckling, the instability caused by compression forces that bend an object to the side. The maximum force a pole can take without buckling is called the critical buckling load. So if the vaulter applies more force than this, the pole will bend and eventually snap. The stick needs to be long enough to get you over the jump, but no longer. If you double the length of the stick, it can only withstand a quarter of the amount of force without buckling. So it sounds a bit hit and miss to me, but I'm optimistic. Let's try and vault. My optimism is fading. Fast. Now, now this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I'm not sure what the critical buckling load of a rotten stick is, but he's exceeded it. Oh, and a word of caution. <laughs> Don't do it near a drainage pipe. He looks like a pro. Yeah. Just not at canal vaulting. Something else, maybe. Oh. Long, thin pole and a weight that exceeds the critical buckling load. Once you've exceeded that buckling load, it is probably best to land in water. Feel yepen, or far leaping, is a serious national sport in the Netherlands. They use carbon fibre poles instead of the sticks favoured by our researchers. The longest jump was set in 2014 by Bart Helmholt, who vaulted almost 71 feet. I've high hopes that Bart's record might be beaten here. Oh, not like that anymore. Or that. Come on now, last one. Well, that was a letdown. Literally.